This is Brendan. It's going to be another video on circles, uh, particularly on sector areas and what equations or ratios you can use to find uh, the sector area of a circle. Uh, in the last video, we talked about the arc length. Uh, what you're going to find is uh, sector area is actually extremely similar to arc length, just a slightly different equation or a very slightly different ratio. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So what is sector area? Well, if you have a circle and that circle has some central angle theta, like this, uh, the sector area is the area given by the, the shaded region that that central angle subtends. So it would basically be this, you know, this region all in here. And we have two ways for finding sector area. You can choose whichever one you'd like. One is to use the equation that sector area, which I'm going to denote using A, is equal to one half r squared theta. And just to be specific, I'm going to put A with a little subscript of S uh, describing the area of the sector. That's usually what subscripts are for. Um, and so we could just use this equation. And what we know is that A sub S is sector area. R is the radius. And theta is the angle uh, given in radians. Okay, so that's one of the methods that you can use to solve it. Uh, just like with arc length, you want to make sure theta is in radians, not degrees. So that conversion factor down here is in order to go from degrees to radians. You're going to multiply by pi divided by 180. On the other hand, you can use a formula that's very similar to what we use, that ratio that we set up for arc length. And that is, is that the sector area over the total area of the circle is equal to the central angle divided by 2 pi if it's in radians or the central angle divided by 360 if it's in degrees. Uh, you can use either one, uh, just depends on what they provide you with for the most part. Uh, sometimes they give you the sector area and the area and ask you for the angle in radians or in degrees, uh, whichever one they ask you for, just use the appropriate equation. Okay, so I'll just do a very quick example problem. Uh, let's say we have a circle where the radius is 5 and the central angle is 60 degrees. Uh, so two ways of doing this. Uh, I could choose to use the sector area formula on the left. If I were to do that, before I put theta in, I need to make sure it's in degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say theta is equal to 60 degrees times pi over 180. And when I do that conversion, I'm going to end up getting pi over 3. Now that I know theta is pi over 3, I can go ahead and plug it into the sector area formula where the area of the sector is equal to 1 half times 5 squared times pi over 3. Uh, 5 squared is 25. Multiplying straight across the top, we would end up with 25 pi. Straight across the bottom, we would end up with 6. All right, so that's one way that we could do it. Or we could just use this formula up here. Uh, because it's originally given in degrees, I'm going to do the area of the sector divided by the area of the whole circle. And if we remember, the equation for area of a circle is pi r squared. Uh, since the radius is 5, r squared would be 25, and pi r squared would be 25 pi. And then we set this equal to the central angle, which is 60 degrees, divided by 360. Uh, so then we could reduce the right side. The zeros just cross. 6 over 36 is 1 sixth and the area of the sector divided by 25 pi. Uh, we just multiply the 25 pi up, and we would find that the area of the sector is equal to 25 pi over 6. Uh, and that's how we would do it. That's kind of your most basic example. Uh, in the following uh, videos, I'll present additional examples of slightly more challenging equations on this topic, slightly more uh, difficult questions. Uh, thanks for watching.